welcome back to True Talk, everybody. We're having a great time. Are you guys having fun? Me too, I'm having lots of fun. <laughs> if you're just joining us, you're watching True Talk, and today is Guy Psychic Day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And last on the show, but certainly not least, we welcome the New York psychic himself, Stephen Robinson, everybody. Hi, everybody. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It's nice being here. Thank you for joining us once again it's here on pleasure. True Talk. It's my we pleasure. appreciate that. And you've read celebrities. We've talked about this before. Tell us about some of the celebrities that you've read. Um, Hugh Jackman and his wife. Hugh Jackman. Um, wow. Yeah. So you've been to his house, right? I've been to his house. The elevator opens into his living room. Is it really nice? Yeah. Yes. yes. Very nice. And you read yes. for him and his Lafayette wife. Lafayette Street, if you know New York very well. Okay. And who else have you read for? Uh, Donna Karen. Okay. Who is she? DKNY, she's a designer. Oh, okay, a designer. You know, uh -huh. All the ladies in the audience know who Donna Karen is, right? And even in the guys, she makes ties and jeans. Okay. Yeah. And, and you've done someone from The Sopranos as well, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, that's pretty cool. And many of them I, I don't know because I don't watch a lot of TV. And I remember being at Hugh Jackman's house and all the people looked really familiar. And when I read for them, I got to know who some of them were. But it wasn't until I sat down and heard their questions that I got an idea, hmm, this person's in producing, this person's a casting director, this person's an actor. So afterwards, you kind of look yeah, them up a yeah, little bit to see yeah. And actually, it's an advantage to not know something about a person rather than to know something about them. Mm. Yeah. And you've been practicing out of New York City. That's where you do right. most of your work. I'm originally from Albany. I was born at Albany Medical Center. Ah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I moved to New York back in 2000. And you are the founder of the Holistic Studies Institute, is yeah. that right? Holistic Studies Institute is, uh, was founded in 1977 when I was three years old. Oh, okay, <laughs> when you were three. <laughs> and uh, I'm the founder. And, um, and then I brought it to New York City, and uh, we're doing well at both locations. And we train too? people to be psychic. And okay. I've given, um, well, probably well over 10,000 readings in all these years. Wow. And we've had 10,000 students who've completed our courses as well. And so. there are courses that are available at this moment, too. At this moment. Okay. There's some literature on the uh, information table out there. Grab something. We're having a tarot class coming up. It's a nice little workshop. Um, so, uh, and I believe that the person who's teaching it, George Corey, was a guest here previously. Oh, yes, George Corey is a guest. Sure, yeah. Know. So yeah. what's the nice website guy. for that if we want to know more about the Holistic Studies Institute? Um, go to holisticstudies.com. Okay, simple. we'll have to check that out. Yeah. Well, let's get some audience readings Yeah, here. let's get down to business here. Okay, <laughs> let's, uh, let's start in the back here. Stand on up. Okay, I just want to find out about my son-in-law. Um, is this like a two-people yeah, yeah, type reading? Okay, so okay. you stand up as well. Uh, Okay, so what's your name? Well, you already know my name. Well, I know your name, but they don't know your name. Gladys. Okay, Gladys. Hi, Gladys. It's going to go bad or good. And your name? Michelle. And Michelle. Okay. Michelle. So what do you want to know from Stephen well, Robinson? Um, the situation that my son-in-law is, we're just wondering how it's going to go, if it's going to go okay or if not. Um, I, I'm not telling you this because I think you want to hear it, but I'm telling you this because I get it. Um, I feel um, I'm looking at September, and September seems to be a turnaround point with this. Um, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Psychics don't know everything. I wish I did. But um, there's a turnaround point sometime in September related to this issue that you're asking about. Um, and I feel like that turnaround point is something for the good. And by the time we get to the end of this year into the beginning of next year, look for some positive changes. I noticed you use good or bad. Yeah. <laughs> uh, sometimes things don't work out good or bad. They Not always black or in white. The, in the gray area in between. Area. And I'm sensing that this is on the continuum in the gray area toward the positive for you, good. if that makes sense. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, the lady, um, you're wearing blue and sleeveless. Uh, what's your name? Again? Michelle. Michelle? Yeah. I, I just saw a hat on your head, like a top hat. And this is a symbol, it's not literal. But this is in your aura, and it represents success and celebration. And I feel by the new year, you're, you'll be celebrating. Oh, thank you. You're very welcome. That's some good news, right? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Happy New Year. <laughs> thank you very much.